Welcome again to 5 Minutes on K-12 Online Learning with. Now, you'll notice that today we don't have anyone here with us. And the reason for that is because we've been doing these episodes now for six weeks. We have had 27 different guests on. And our focus to date has been looking at essentially advice that my colleagues in the field of K-12 distance and online learning were able to provide to teachers that were just starting to get involved in this remote learning as well as parents who were really taking on a new role in the educational partnership in supporting their child's learning at home. In most jurisdictions now we've been doing this from anywhere from four to eight weeks so most of the teachers that are out there and most of the parents that are watching this have probably already at least gotten into a particular routine. Um, they've figured out enough of what they need to figure out to get them through the remainder of this school year and it's time for our conversation to change not just here but throughout the educational system right now. In most jurisdictions, we have anywhere from four to eight weeks left of our school year, and we need to start thinking about how we finish off the this school year and how we plan for the next school year. And I think we need to look at that in two particular ways, and that's what the focus of this particular space is going to be over the next few weeks during that period of time, I'm going to invite back some of my colleagues that you've already heard from. We'll also have new people joining us that you haven't heard from yet. And the focus is going to transition from the teachers and, and parents to school leaders. And essentially, what do school leaders need to start thinking about and start planning for as they end out this school year and start the next one? As well, what do school leaders need to start planning for for the next time this happens. One of the things that we know about pandemics is that they always come in multiple waves. So there will be a second wave of this particular pandemic and it will likely come before we have a vaccine in place or before a mass number of people have been vaccinated to the point that we can achieve herd immunity. So schools are gonna to have to close down again. And it might be for short periods of time, it might only be in certain geographic areas, but there is a second wave coming. And when that second wave comes, we'll need to deal with it, and hopefully not in the way where we had to scramble this time and try to figure things out. There's also a good chance that there will be local flare-ups in different areas. So you might have a particular school district and maybe all of the contiguous school districts around it that need to close down because of uh, a high number of cases just in that small geographic area. So school leaders right now need to start thinking about what they do next time so that we're not caught a second time around because let's face it everyone really in North America I would suggest everyone in the world was sort of caught with both how quickly this particular incident happened and how severe the consequences were in terms of how much we had to shut down society um, we know that this is going to happen again so getting caught once is excusable getting caught a second time is simply inexcusable so what do school leaders need to start thinking about as we get ready for the next time? So I'm going to have my colleagues back again. We will post them at noon Pacific each day uh, starting uh, on Monday. And what we'll be doing is I'll be asking them three questions again, asking them a little bit about themselves, asking them what advice they have for school leaders as we start to look to the end of this school year and the beginning of next school year. And then what advice do they have for school leaders as they start to think about getting ready for the next time that we have this mass shutdown. So hopefully you will find this particular segment or the shift of focus in this particular segment continuing to be of interest and of use to you. Uh, hopefully you'll find it more uh, engaging than what my two colleagues over here have found as we've been going because let's face it, they just haven't paid any attention to me as I've been explaining this to each of you. So I look forward to seeing you back here again and hopefully you will find this new focus as useful as you found the last.